Waratah Timber 8 H16 Loading Machine Files Timber 8 H16 uses a single computer file to save multiple machine settings. This file is called an XML, and once saved can be used to reload saved machine settings such as calibration files, button layouts, and harvester head settings. To load a saved XML file, navigate up to the File Handling tab on the Run Screen Management menu. This page manages both the saving and loading of machine settings. It also manages the saving of other various production files, stem files, and bucking instructions. In this example, we will be loading the machine files, so put a check mark in the Machine Settings option on the file loading side of the screen. Then press the Next tab to step forward. From this screen, you can now select the file you would like to load. Press the ellipsis button on the right of the file box to open a Windows menu box where you can choose the file you would like to load. It will by default open the parameters folder located in the main Timber 8 files folder. Then choose the file you would like to load. Then select open. The file that was just chosen will now appear in the file to be loaded box. Now you can select the settings from the XML you would like to load. In this example, we are only going to load the harvester head settings, so select just the harvester head settings checkbox. Then select Next. It will then warn you that you're about to load machine settings and to make sure the key is switched on. Then select Start. It will then load the files. Then press Next when it becomes highlighted. You will then be at the file handling summary page where it will let you know if the file has been saved successfully and what file it loaded. Press Done to finish the process and return to the run screen. In the next example, we will load a complete machine setup, simulating a newly installed machine startup. To load all of the settings, the service lock will need to be unlocked. Please contact your nearest Wartaw dealer for a service lock code. Once the service lock is unlocked, then navigate up to the file handling tab on the run screen management menu. Again, select the machine settings option on the file loading side of the screen. Then press the Next tab to step forward. Then the ellipsis button to enter the Windows menu box. In this example, we will be loading a complete setup that we have saved onto a memory stick from another machine. Navigate to the left side of the Windows menu where the list of available drives are. Select the memory stick drive you inserted into the USB port. Then navigate to and select the saved file you want to load. Once it has been selected, press Open. The file that was just chosen will now appear in the File to be Loaded box. Now that the service lock is open, all of the options are now available to select. Select them all and press Next. Now select all three setting level options as this is a new machine that we want to overwrite everything on. Then press Start. When it's done loading, press Next when it becomes highlighted. You will then be at the file handling summary page where it will let you know if the file has been saved successfully and what file it loaded. Press done to finish the process and return to the run screen. Now that you have loaded the complete machine files, take some time to inspect all the settings in the main menu to make sure the settings have all been loaded properly. If the file you loaded contained calibration files from a different machine, be sure to check that the values are working properly in the new head but then make sure to do a complete diameter and length calibration when the machine arrives at the worksite.